everyone, and welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS. Get ready to learn something new with us today, friends. My name is Gabe, and I'm Andrea. And friends, this week we are learning how to talk about driving. Are you ready?、Uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to learn how to drive. Can you drive, Gabe?、Uh, I can drive, and I think that. Max can drive too. Well, we'll find out in today's lesson, friends. Let's look at our keywords together. The first one is dirty. Dirty. Our car is dirty. Can you please wash it? Key. Key. Where is my key? I can't open the door. Motorcycle. Motorcycle. Ken has a motorcycle. It goes very fast. Trouble. Trouble. The children are a lot of trouble. Mom is tired. Fix. Fix. Something. Is wrong with the TV? Please fix it. Well, everyone, let's talk about these key words and say them one more time. The first one is dirty. Dirty. Key. Key. Motorcycle. Motorcycle. Trouble. Trouble. Fix. Fix. Well done. Now let's drive on over to see Eddie. Eddie has a motorcycle. Yeah, Eddie. I'm looking for my motorcycle keys. I can't find them. Oh.、Uh, um. Well,、uh, maybe we can help you look for them. Okay.、Uh, in a minute, Eddie.、Uh, do you have something special for us today? Yes. Something special. Yeah. A, yeah. A yeah. I have today's mission. Okay. You ready? Here、okay. it ready. is. <clears throat> Today's mission is: Where is Max? Where is Max? Where are Eddie's keys? I hope we find them, but we will find the answer to today's mission in our lesson. Let's begin with our read it. Renee is working in the diner. She is very busy and tired. Max is not there. Renee calls him on the phone. He doesn't answer. Some customers leave. Renee looks at their dirty plates and cups. She takes them into the kitchen. Ben comes in and sits down. Renee comes back. She walks over to Ben. Well, poor Renee is very busy in the diner. She is working there alone. Gabe, where is Max? Well, I don't know where Max is, but Max is not there at the diner, so no wonder Renee is very busy and very tired. Now, when you are busy, that means you have a lot to do. Maybe you are very busy at work, or you're a busy student. With lots of homework and things to study and learn. And Renee is busy at work. She is busy because there is no one else to help her work. So what will she do? Well, she tries to call Max. She tries to call him on the phone, but he doesn't answer. That means he doesn't pick up his phone to talk to her. That's right. He doesn't pick up his phone. But you can also use this word "answer" to say he wouldn't answer the door. You can answer the phone, or you can answer the door when someone knocks on it. Well, I hope Max answers his phone soon. Renee needs help. She is busy. She looks at the dirty plates and cups, and then takes them into the kitchen. Friends, let's learn our key word here. It is dirty. Dirty. If something is dirty, it is not clean. It's not clean. Here's how you can use this word "dirty." Wash your clothes. 
They look really dirty. Or wash your car. It is dirty. I can't even see what color your car is. Hey, Renee, look at these keys. What are they for? My motorcycle. You have a motorcycle? I do now. It's outside. Where is Max? I can give him a ride. Where is Max? Good question. I don't know. Oh. I can give you a ride. Come outside. No, Ben. I'm busy. Oh. Well, friends, we have some key words to learn here. Hey, some key words. One of our key words is the word key. Key. A key is something that you use to open something or to turn something on. A key. You might use a key to open the door to your house or the place where you live. You use keys to lock things so no one else can get inside. Yes, you can use your keys to open or lock something, or you can use a key to turn something on. Right here, I have a key for my house, but there is also a key for a scooter. I need to turn on a scooter or start the motorcycle. Well, Ben is excited to show his motorcycle keys. Yes, Ben has a new motorcycle, and his keys will start the motorcycle. And we will start to learn this next key word. The word is motorcycle. Motorcycle. A motorcycle is like a bicycle, but it has a motor. A motorcycle needs gas for you to use it. And a motorcycle is also much bigger than a bicycle. A motorcycle has lots of power. When you ride one, you can go very fast, so you want to be careful. That's right. And here's another way that you can use this word motorcycle. You can say you will start the motorcycle. You need to start your motorcycle before you can drive it. Can I get you something? Coffee, please. Okay. This is Ben. Oh, hi, Max. Yes, I do. Okay. See you soon. Where is Max? He's at the hospital. Oh no! What's wrong? He's not hurt. He's having car trouble. Can you fix it? I don't know, but I can give him a ride on my motorcycle. Well, I think that Ben is excited that he can give Max a ride on his motorcycle, and friends. We finally know where Max is, and that's the answer to today's mission. The question is, where is Max? Where is Max? Max is at the hospital. But there's nothing wrong with Max. He is not hurt. His car just stopped working. So. It must have stopped working close to the hospital. That's right. So Max is in trouble. That means he needs help, and his car is having some trouble too. Well, we hope you're not having trouble with this word because we want to learn it together. It is trouble. Trouble. When you're having trouble, that means you have a problem. Max is having car trouble. That means his car has a problem. It is not working. Friends, have you ever been in trouble or had trouble of some kind? Maybe you have had trouble with your homework. You can say, "I'm having some trouble with my homework. I need help." And if you're having trouble with something, maybe someone can help you, or they can also fix your trouble. Our next key word is fix. Fix. 
If you fix something, you make it better. If you're having car trouble and you fix your car, that means your car is okay. It doesn't have trouble anymore. You know, Andrea, I like to try to fix things. If something is broken, before I ask someone else, a lot of times I will try to fix it myself and make it better. Ah, so you don't like to ask other people to fix things? Well, sometimes I do, but I do like to try to fix. Word power. It's time for word power. This week we're talking about cars. Where do most cars go at least once a week? They go to a gas station. When you own a car or scooter, you go to a gas station a lot. A gas station sells many things that cars need. Gas station. Gas station. Gas stations sell gas. Every car needs gas. A car cannot move without gas. The more you drive a car, the more gas it uses. Gas. Gas. You put gas in your car at a gas pump. A gas pump tells you how much gas you are putting in your car. It tells you how much to pay too. Gas pump. Gas pump. Where does the gas go? When you put gas into your car, it goes into the gas tank. A gas tank holds the gas. Gas tank. Gas tank. When your gas tank is full, it has enough gas. You do not need any more gas in your tank. Full. Full. When there is no gas in your gas tank, it is empty. You need to put gas in your car, but put gas in your car before it is empty. 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 Now, don't forget to pay for your gas. Remember these words the next time you go to a gas station, and you'll have word power. Conversation replay. Renee is working in the diner. She is very busy and tired. Max is not there. Renee calls him on the phone. He doesn't answer. Some customers leave. Renee looks at their dirty plates and cups. She takes them into the kitchen. Ben comes in and sits down. Renee comes back. She walks over to Ben. Hey, Renee, look at these keys. What are they for? My motorcycle. You have a motorcycle? I do now. It's outside. Where is Max? I can give him a ride. Where is Max? Good question. I don't know. Oh. I can give you a ride. Come outside. No, Ben. I'm busy. Oh. Can I get you something? Coffee, please. Okay. This is Ben. Oh, hi, Max. Yes, I do. Okay. See you soon. Where is Max? He's at the hospital. Oh no! What's wrong? He's not hurt. He's having car trouble. Can you fix it? I don't know, but I can give him a ride on my motorcycle. Calendar phrase. So, Gabe, can you give me a ride home in your car? Andrea, I would like to, but I can't. Do you know why? Why? My car needs gas. Your car needs gas? Yes, Andrea. My car doesn't have any gas. My car needs gas. <laughs> And that's today's calendar, calendar phrase. phrase. My car needs gas. 
my car needs gas. And we need to learn more with our calendar phrase skit. My car needs gas. My car needs gas. Uh oh. What's wrong? My car needs gas. It does. Yes. My car needs gas. So let's go to the gas station. It's down the street. No, we can't. My car needs gas. It needs gas now. You mean? Yes. My car has no gas. We can't go anywhere. Dan, my car needs gas. My car needs gas. Welcome back, everybody. Now, Eddie,、yeah. did you find your motorcycle keys? <laughs> sort of. Sort of. Yeah. Well, I left my keys at home. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Eddie. So you can't drive your motorcycle home, but you can give us today's question of the day. Oh yes, yes, that I can give you. Here it is. Do you have a motorcycle? Why or why not? Do you have a motorcycle? Why or why not? I don't have a motorcycle because I only drive a car. And if I did have a motorcycle, I'd probably leave my keys at home anyway. <laughs> well, that's true.、Yeah. Okay, friends, thank you for joining us today here on Let's Talk in English on PTS, where learning, learning English can, can be fun. fun. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. 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 -bye.